Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. Um, I've got Adobe Captivate 6 open up and a common question we get is how do you stop your slides from progressing at Captivate once you publish? So I've just got an example um, pulled up here and I'm going to go and do a preview project and show you what the, uh, the problem is with Captivate here. So the project starts playing and you'll notice that the timeline it just keeps playing and it advances to each slide automatically. Now this is how Captivate software is programmed to to function. Um, a lot of times though when you're building an e-learning course you want the end of the slide to stop and you want the user to click a continue button or a next button um, to advance and when you actually have that project open up um, because the way Captivate functions the actual next and back button down here at the bottom these arrows are really um, not needed because it advances but I would like my learners to actually have to click those to advance so let me show you how to do that what you need to do is on each slide in Captivate go to your timeline view and you want to add a button so we'll go insert standard object and button and Captivate will add um, whatever default style of button you have. Now this is what's called a transparent button and I have it filled with a gradient fill right now. Uh, for my particular example here I don't want this button to be visible or clickable. Um, I really just want it to be truly invisible so the learner never sees it. And then I can force my learner to use one of my player skins um, to continue or the default player skin that Captivate has. So what I'll do is I'll just take the transparency of the fill color over here in the properties panel and I'll take it all the way down to zero and you see how it already started to disappear. Next I can take my stroke width color and take it all the way down to zero. And the last thing to do is the actual word button in there. I'll just need to just delete the button out so there's nothing there and when I unselect it you can see it's truly transparent and not there. And I like to just make it really small and then I like to just tuck it and hide it in the corner and that way no one sees it. And if you want to do anything else you could you know apply an action to that button just in case the learner accidentally clicks it um, you know so maybe I can just actually disable it. Alright and then I'll just hide it right here in the corner and then I can just do a simple copy on it and then I could paste it on each slide and it'll paste it right down the corner here. The other thing to also note depending on how you use your timeline and if you're animating anything on the timeline you will wanna look on this timeline mode over here and see when the button actually displays on the slide you might wanna have it you know it truly will never display because it's invisible but it it's still kind of on the project itself um, but the really important part is is when it actually pauses um, this little pause indicator here and then you can actually move where that pause is why that's important is if you are animating on your slide if the animation gets to where this pause um, icon is on the button um, then it will truly pause the slide and your animation may not fully um, end so the best practice would be make sure you have your bu your button this invisible pause button at the very very end of your timeline just to ensure that everything gets played out correctly. Um, so I've got it on the first two slides if I go up and do a preview on this project we should truly see it now pause and not advance to the next slide. You can see right down here at the bottom it actually did pause. I'm going to have to click my next button. There it goes to the next one. And then I didn't have any other pauses, um, any more buttons on it, so it's just going to keep advancing now through the rest of the slides. So anyway, I hope this, uh, this helps you and uh, helps you understand how to uh, pause the timeline in Captivate 6. Thanks a lot.